Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay, happy, healthy, safe, wherever you are in the world. Today's YouTube, I was going to say Glutube video, this is, no. Glute series is episode number four and we are doing a full glute workout where I talk through every single exercise. Now, I have actually taken this workout from my Build Your Glute Trainer, which you can get below. You can also request a personalized diet plan your tracker, your calories, your macros, your images, your weight, your metrics, what you're lifting, it's all in my coach school. So you can grab that below, but I wanted to share this with you because what I've put into this program is what I do. So I'm currently following this program. When this video goes live, I'm not sure what day I'll be on. I'll be on week two. I think I was just done push this morning because it's obviously a full body trainer, but it's focusing on the glutes and building those legs and glutes, booty in particular. So the session consists of barbell hip thrusts, we have some knee banded hip thrust work. So we obviously have some heavy work at the start, working on that major compound lift, my favorite glute exercise, the barbell hip thrust. I'm gonna go through that with you next week as well. I feel as though gyms have been open for quite a long period of time now, kind of really, so five or six weeks. Well. In England they have, and a lot of places all around the world they have. Some places they're not, but for the places that are, you've probably been back for about five or six weeks. So doing like heavier barbell of Romanian deadlifts is absolutely fine at the moment. I feel like I've recovered really well. I started off doing them lighter because obviously they're a really stretched exercise. So you're, on, you're in a super stretched position when you're performing it. These lead to more muscle damage, so you're more sore. But I have introduced them back into my program and they feel fantastic. This whole workout is a mixture of your stretchers, your activators, and your pumpers. So the frog pumps, the lateral band walks, hip abduction, things like that. That is at the end of the workout. But make sure you have caught up on episodes one, two, and three, where we're talking about frequency, we're talking about different exercise categories, we're talking about nutrition and why it's so important to eat kind of like in a certain way in terms of calories, macros, body recomposition, we've done it all. And I'm excited that you guys are loving this series so much as I am. I'm definitely gonna introduce like more vloggy stuff onto my channel. I feel like I really, really miss doing it. I know this is such valuable content. I mean, let me know below, do you want me to do more vlog style videos? Like what I do in a day, my work, owning a business, young businesswoman kind of vibe. Like just let me know in the comments, cause I'm curious. But yeah, this is gonna be an amazing workout. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please do. I love you so much forever. But let's just dive in to the workout. Barbell hip thrusts, my favorite glute exercise. Key points the barbell hip thrust. So in terms of height of the bench for the step, you want it roughly so it's just underneath your scapula. You don't want it near your neck. So some of the benches in public gyms are a little bit too high. This is pretty much ideal or a box or whatever you can find. So what you want to do is get your barbell pad, now your feet position when you're at full hip extension. This is where you want your shins perpendicular. So basically you want to create 90 degrees. If I give you an example of the foot position, boom, straight up, 90 degrees. If they're too far away, you'll feel it in your hamstrings. If your feet are too close, you'll feel it in your quads. So head position, what you want to do is look straight forward and keep your gaze like that the whole time. Imagine someone is pulling your head forward so you're creating a double chin kind of feeling and you do not move your gaze. This is so we don't hyperextend the spine and we're squeezing the glutes. At the top of the movement, making sure you're tucking your pelvis under and back down. Knee banded barbell hip thrust. So for this exercise, you will require a booty loop band and in terms of where you want to position it, in terms of the most optimal, I find it just above the knees. And this is where, to be honest, most people do have it. But if you feel you can't really feel your glutes, just pop it below. It's very personal dependent. So the exact same as normal barbell hip thrust, you're in the same position with the same setup. What you want to do is pull your feet a little bit wider apart so you're actually putting tension on the band. If not, there's no purpose of really having the band on. So when you're at full hip extension, what we want to focus on, pushing that band out to the side. So as you can see, it's placing double duty onto the glutes. Normal hip thrust technique, but obviously it's just that little bit more intense. Some of Romanian deadlifts. Now the key point here is it's a hip hinge movement. So what you want to focus on 
is driving those hips back, pretending there's a wall behind me that they're going to touch. Don't feel the need that you have to go to the floor and arch your back. That's not a Romanian deadlift. So what you want to do is hip hinge, hip hinge, slight bend at the knee. This is where I feel the full stretch. So I'm not going to drop to the floor. I'm going to come back up, pull those glutes through and lower back down. So you're moving the dumbbells down your thighs and down your shins. Keeping that head in neutral. Cable pull throughs. So one thing you want to avoid is when you do the pull through, you don't want to be hyperextending your spine. It's doing absolutely nothing except damaging your lower back. So what you want to do, you want to make sure you've got enough room so you can actually reach full range of motion on your pull through. So hip hinge, slight bend at the knee, and then pull through with the glutes. And you're doing that little posterior tilt, so tucking that pelvis under. Cable kickbacks. So with cable kickbacks, a lot of the time people really feel it in their lower back. So what I want you to do is be level with the bar and the cable. So don't be too far up here and don't be too low down. So grab the bar of the cable, whatever yours looks like in your gym. And all you're doing is pushing back and you're kind of pushing with your heel. So you're not doing this. It doesn't need to go up in the air. It needs to push back and extend out. So extend out straight. Feel that stretch in your glute. So kind of move with the cable. Lateral band walks, an amazing glute pumper exercise. Filling those glutes with a lot of blood and a lot of stress and it's a really, really great finisher. So with the lateral band walk, what I would advise is that you have your booty loop just above, above your knee. If it's too high, you're not really going to get that much glute medius activation and we're working this part of the glute. So this is kind of optimal. So what you want to do is step side to side, but you want to pull out with the knee. So this place is double duty onto the glute. So we're pulling out with the knee. We're not going foot, knee, foot, knee. Also, I just find it easy if I keep my hands on my hips because I know I'm tucking my pelvis under. You don't want to be doing it like this. You want to bring yourself in and this is the best way to do a lateral band walk. You do want to try and do quite wide steps as you do it. And obviously, if it's too much, just do smaller steps and keep that tight. are a brilliant pumper exercise for the glutes. So all you want to do is have the bottom of your feet. You want them to be facing each other. If this is a bit uncomfortable, you can have them at a slight angle, but it is optimal to have them facing each other. All you're going to do is lie flat like a glute bridge where you would extend the hips you're going to do the same with the frog pump so it's quite a quick movement you do want to do obviously a high rep range keep your chin tucked it makes it a little bit easier in case you have lower back pain and we are back i hope you enjoyed it so obviously you will have found this super beneficial because i've talked through all the exercises with you whilst demonstrating what I have done is written the reps and sets on the screen for you, obviously, so you can see what you should be doing for the specific workout because I'm just demoing. And I just hope you found it very helpful to see how I actually train my glutes and my lower body. And I guess how I'm building muscle at the moment. My One of my biggest goals now post lockdown is to build my strength back up and also build significantly more muscle, which is what we all love to do. So. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!